Hey guys, this is another Happy Bee Productions. So, today I'm doing a response to BuzzFeed series that they have going of questions for white people. I am personally a half white, half Asian, and so there were no questions for Asian people, so we're just going with responding to the white people questions. The disclaimer, I am only going to be responding based upon my own opinions and such that should not be used as a overall umbrella term or opinion for everybody. I only speak for myself. So let's start with nine questions Native Americans have for white people. Why do you guys like headdresses so much? That's not a fashion accessory, it's a ceremonial item. You do realize Coachella is not considered a vision quest. That headdress goes really well with your privilege. Okay. Why do we like headdresses? They look cool. Do we realize that it is not just a fashion statement? Yes. But most of the time, again, it looks cool. People like things that look cool. Um... I'm pretty sure everybody knows Coachella is not a vision quest or a spiritual enlightening thing or anything like that. It's fun. And the last lady, come on, that wasn't even, I don't even know how to put that into a question. That's just trying to be insulting. Like, your tone too. Gosh. Alright. Why do you always ask me how native I am? Why should I have to prove myself to you? It's so weird to have someone immediately want to quantify my identity. That's just as personal as asking me my birthday, my weight, or my bra size. Okay, why do we ask how much? Because that's interesting, as well as there's been a lot of mixing races. And so, just like I'm perfectly silent in saying... I'm half white, half Asian, half Korean. I'm okay with that. It's your heritage. If you're so proud of it, you shouldn't feel insulted that someone's trying to understand exactly what your heritage and culture is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, why do you have to justify it? You don't. People just like to ask. It's just a normal thing. And as well as, depending on the contents, like, people ask what person's birthday is. I mean, it's like, yeah, hey, when's your birthday? I want to get you a gift. Or, hey, when were you born? Uh, bar size is a little bit weird, but, you know, sometimes you get that too, depending on the circumstances. Like, Sounds like you're more touchy about your own culture than the people asking you. People asking you just want to know more about you. Why do you tell me I don't look like a Native American? What the f does a Native American look like? Should I put some more paint on? Should I make my hair longer? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know that white people were the authority on what Native Americans look like. Okay, one, this last woman that keeps making comments, is she purposely trying to act condescending and mean? Um, I don't really know. Um, but yeah. And so, why do people say that? Well, because frankly, nobody really knows what they look like. I mean, got some movie references going on. But it's pretty common for people to be like, oh, yeah, if you look like something else or they don't know what a Native American looks like, to be like, oh, well, you didn't look like it. Maybe you looked Brazilian. Maybe you looked white. Maybe you looked black. Maybe you looked whatever a person could understand. I mean, I get a lot of times, oh, you didn't look Asian. Cool. Like, is that supposed to offend me? It means that they didn't see it mixed with my other qualities or 
that I was different from what was expected. Yeah. Why do you think we get everything for free? I don't get casino money, I do pay taxes, and I have student loans up to here. And while we're at it, natives are one of the poorest demographics in the country. If somebody wants to pay for my student loans at any time, please send me a check. Oh yeah, I totally agree with the student loan things, you know. Anyone wants to pay student loans? Nobody likes paying the student loans. And nobody thinks you guys get things for free, I don't... From what I've noticed, most people are talking about how you were first on reserves and that type of stuff. And how you guys, you know, that's why there's the whole fuck Columbus thing going down. Especially now, when Columbus Day passed a little while ago, they were all like, Columbus is an asshole. So, not really sure where you're getting your fact there. I mean, I'm not going to say that some people probably don't think that, but not really sure where you're finding these people. What's up with the Washington R words? Just change the name. Yeah, you don't find it offensive because it has nothing to do with you. Look, I get that the R word is a tradition to the football team, but we also have a tradition of not being racist. What? One, is it really the R word? I'm actually asking because I have no idea. Is that like equivalent to the n-word or cracker or fruit roll up or like um it, like i'm not understanding why that word is offensive i can understand why you would want the mascot changed sadly most of us don't have power over that uh you can bet your own that's about it that's really up to the football team on what they want to do with that. So, yeah. I do you think that real Indians all live on reservations? I do pay for reserved parking in my rent. It's actually less than 50% of natives that live on reservations. So, what? Because majority of people have not ran into that many Native Americans, and majority of people if they do run into Native Americans, find them on reserves. So, that's kind of just the belief, because it's a trade there. I'm sure plenty of people, Native Americans, don't live on a reserve. But most people don't meet them or see them. Like, Native Americans are a huge minority compared to it. almost any other race, as there's been mixing and co-breeding between all the different races, and everything's been meshed up, just like America's supposed to be. It's a mixing pot, and so, yeah, there's not very many actual Native Americans around to be like, hey! You guys don't live on the reserves. Go to a reserve, you'll see the Native Americans. Anywhere else, I mean, you might, but it's not as common. What's it like seeing yourself accurately portrayed in the media? In every single movie and TV show and news outlet. What's that like? I would love to know. And on top of it, we've got a lot of white people who are playing Native characters. Rooney Mara, I'm talking to you. You know what, you tell me, I would say you tell me, but we're actually in the same boat here. Not as many mixed people to relate to, so. As for, I guess, what I'm going to refer to as the whiter side, I mean, the, the white side, okay. Um, how does it feel to be accurately portrayed in media? You know, I guess it feels pretty good because we can be like, hey, I relate to that character and they're easy to dress up as when you want to cosplay. So that's cool.
But in general, you relate to the character whose personalities is the closest. I don't think I would just necessarily relate to any character or anyone in media just because of their race. That doesn't seem like their race would be the sole reason why they would be relatable to me. I just think we all know each other. We're not actually like that movie Avatar. We don't have a spiritual hive mind connected through the trees. There are more than five million Native Americans in America. Do all white people know each other? Wait, you guys don't, do you? I don't think anyone expects anyone to know each other. Like, I think that's just one of the things where people sometimes just assume. And it's just like, oh, well, you guys have this in common. You mean it's just your race in common. So maybe you guys know each other. It's kind of dumb, but everyone gets that. And it's with any grouping. You could say you're a choir kid, and they're going to be asking if you knew this other choir kid that's not even in your choir. They're in some other school's choir. You know? And do all white people know each other? No. How are you enjoying our land? It's pretty nice, right? I would love some of that land, too. Anything else I can get you? Cold beverage? You're welcome. You know what I mean? We... Alright, so but your final question with this video was how are we enjoying the land? Um, I like it. I mean, I was actually born on it. To, oh, I'd say, yeah, sorry that ancestors took it and, you know, yeah, it's hard for you to get it back, but it's not like you can't. Land. I mean, didn't one of your other statements point out that most of you guys don't live on the reserves? So doesn't that mean you're living on this land as well, too? Like, with America being a mixing pot, aren't we supposed to be showing this right now? I mean, at this point, if you guys want to try and take it back, you're taking it back from people who, like me, were just born here. So... Now, you, who, now who would be the bad one? Like, yeah. And as for if you could get me anything else, um, you know, I think I'm good. Uh, but, you know, someday if you want, just sit back and go grab some Starbucks or, you know, some cookies, whatever, you know, whatever type of food or drinks you like. We can try and sit down and actually have a discussion. That would be cool. So, yeah. Uh, so, I'm gonna cut this video because, well, I'll, I will be continuing the series and responding to them. I'm going to try and keep it as short snippets so each one relates to what it's supposed to relate to. So, I will consider this part one of answering BuzzFeed's questions for white people and my response to their video of Native Americans asking questions to white people. Hopefully you all enjoyed it, and I'd love, you know, feel free to comment below. Let me know what you agree with, what you don't agree with. Just, if, it's, if you have something, try and back it up, you know more than happy to do extra research on things if you want to say, oh, I disagree and point me in a direction, alright, I'll check it out. But, uh, yeah. So, bye!